Jamie, put the camera down. Would you help me? Oh, hell no, dude. I saw a fluffy alpaca down here. Now I'm gonna die. So it is right now five in the morning and this is pretty much how everyone will start their days if they're going to Machu Picchu. It's always an early start. And right now we're heading to another hotel that's part of the Del Inca group. Once we get to our hotel, we're gonna be taking a train to Machu Picchu and the train actually goes into our hotel, which is like unreal. Feeling a little bit tired, I got five hours of sleep, but that's enough for me, we'll do it. Welcome to Tabo del Inca. We've just arrived about an hour and a half later. Honestly, one of the most incredible rides I've ever done. We were like winding through the mountains. And then right as we pull into the hotel, I take my, put my camera out the window and I realize the mic had not been screwed on and it just fell right off as we're driving in. Luckily, as long as I'm recording right now, there's no damage to it. Dying. So this is what we're dealing with right now. On the left, we've got an incredible river running down, a massive mountain up there. On the right side, we're surrounded by another cliffside, more mountains. There's no better way to travel than rail because you have so much space you can get up, you've got food served to you. Like, you feel the freedom of being able to see the environment, but having the comfort of being able to like, you know, have a workspace to be able to hang out with your friends. So I definitely highly recommend taking the Peru rail. Katie, are we allowed to eat now? Not yet. Okay. Like this. <laughs> About two comfortable hours later, we've just arrived here at the train station that drops people off from Machu Picchu. And now we're gonna have to take a bus to get up to the top of Machu Picchu. There's like a two hour, three hour hike you could take, but not with all this camera gear and not with this altitude. Hola, señores. This is the Peruvian Backstreet Boys. This one is called uh, I Love You Still. The Machu Picchu oven glove. Bring the cooking taste of Peru back to wherever you live. So you can see here, we've got a traditional Peruvian hat. You can see it by the alpaca and the Peru sign. That's how you know you're in Peru. I heard the Incas wore those back in like... Ah, yes, the, yeah. the King Incan conquerors, they wore these to war. And when they were fighting the, uh, the Mayans, Spectacular, mate. It was $24 US per person to get up and down for the bus. Uh, that doesn't include your Machu Picchu ticket, which I believe I paid around 50 to 60 US dollars for. So yeah, it's a bit of an expensive day, but of course, who's gonna come to Peru and not see Machu Picchu? Here we are though, oh my gosh. Look at this. We are ready to start our ascent into Machu Picchu. We're pretty much already at the base camp of uh, this Incan palace. If you listen really closely, the noise that makes is incredible. Here it is, what we traveled all the way to see, Machu Picchu. I gotta say, like we were fighting so hard to get the shot. I'm so lucky right now to have this entire area to myself because for the past 20 minutes, it's just been full of people. But once you have the patience, you get the shot. And I think we got a few good ones today. Look right there, guys. There is a wild llama, freely roaming, eating some green grass, living life. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at you. You're so beautiful. He's just, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> I just almost stepped on someone. <laughs> <laughs> it's found some fun food. <laughs> it's going for the banana. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. I have found more of them. Hi there, sir. What are your thoughts on the rising tourism here in Peru? So, what do you think? Is it yeah. worth the hype? Absolutely beautiful.
right behind me there, you can see the really tall mountain, and that is Huayna Picchu. So you can actually pay a little bit extra if you're one of the 200 people that get the tickets to go up there in the day. It could be a really cool spot to check out. However, it was not available when I went to book. I booked my tickets like a week ago, so Huayna Picchu, I think I saw was booking as far as like a month in advance. Definitely a lot of work to get up there. Probably would take you about an hour and a half, and you'd be out of breath, that's guaranteed. And the really cool thing is you can actually do like a three day hike to get to Machu Picchu. It's known as the Incan Trail. After their really tiring excursion, they come through this passage and they see this incredible Incan palace. I can definitely see why people would want to do the Incan Trail though. I mean, just look at this mountain range. The tallest peaks, the biggest drop offs. It would be absolutely stunning, I'm sure. Not for me today, especially with all this gear. So way down there is the river. Before the bus had picked us up, we were down that level. We zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. Started from the bottom, now we're here. So right here they've got a ceremonial rock and it looks like the kind of place you'd sacrifice. This is actually like a photographer's dream. This place is amazing. <laughs> Life is just too good here in Peru. So you can see whoever built this thing had some great tastes. He picked one of the best locations, had some fine architects come in. And right outside of the vacation home, you got that wine of Picchu viewpoint. This looks like a fairy tale. How is this real? Oh my gosh. It's so beautiful. <laughs> oh yeah. If I ever get my head chopped off, I hope it's right here. What did you think? Good spot? Oh, great spot, mate. Capitation line is right about there. Yeah. And as you can see by the angle, your head is gonna roll to that and then flow down the hill. It's absolutely marvelous. So something really cool here, I just heard the tour guide saying is this system of canals right here, little water channels, they actually act as a filtration system and they run all the way down there. And as it goes through the steps several times, several layers of these channels, you get pure water. We came, we saw, we conquered, and now it's time to go. All exits lead to the gift shop. Postcards. So the line to get on the bus started back there. It just keeps going and going. Oh, it even goes around that bend. All right, one hour later, we're finally on a bus. So excited. Our experience coming here with Peru Rail was absolutely incredible. But we have something really unique set up tonight. It's pricey, but we'll let you know how we find it uh, in just a moment. We're now going to be taking the train from here all the way to Cusco. I don't know how long it'll take, but I think it's at least three to four hours. And uh, from there, we'll be taking a taxi back to Tambo del Inca. In the lounge, they have music being played, they have champagne being served, and you can definitely tell, like, this is going to be a very exclusive experience. You ready for this? I don't think, I don't so. think you're ready. I don't want to break something. I don't think you're ready, dude. Yeah. Yes, yes. This is class. And it's just like unbelievable. The service is incredible. They have servers just walking up and down with different snacks and drinks. Live music's being played over there. I've never done anything like this in my life. So that was like the most sophisticated way to get around. It didn't even feel like travel, honestly. It was just incredible luxury. We have now arrived in Cusco. Unfortunately, we're not actually staying in Cusco. We have to take a one hour and 15 minute ride back to Tambo del Inca, and it's gonna be an unbelievable night, but uh, we gotta get going because our taxi's waiting, so let's head out. Right now, it is 10.20. We've just arrived at Tambo del Inca. Like, the ceilings have to be like 40 feet high. Massive Incan fireplace. This is the incredible room that I get to stay in for the next two nights. You'll see more about that. But I wanted to finish with one last note. Fun of the day. I really hope you enjoyed today's Peru video, and if you did, why don't you take it a step further and actually go as far as joining the Team Get Lost family. Click the subscribe button so you can get more awesome content like this, the remainder of the Peru series, and if you're planning to come to Peru, I've made an entire one and a half hour video guide. It shows you everything you need to know about Peru, from packing your bags to the hidden secrets, the best restaurants, and the must do things while you're traveling here. If you just wanna get a sneak preview of the guide, I've got the five hot tips, it's completely free just click over here if you want the full guide click down below in the description and it'll take you right there without further ado let's get lost again in the next one